Hi there and a warm welcome to Adventure Airsoft. My name is Mike. This is the first video of a project, a series of project videos uh, to do with a, a spare gun or a gun that I want to use in a couple of different environments. It started out life as a spare for, um, in case my HPA, my uh, MTW Wolverine, which is there, goes down um, and I wanted something a little bit different, something that wasn't quite mainstream on the market. Uh, from su as suppliers goes, as the base format goes, it's pretty common across all my all, all. But uh, this video is just about unboxing what I've bought, uh, just showing you why I bought it and uh, why I've gone with the way I have, and then to show you a, a couple of different videos past this in the series to try and uh, try and see how we get on with it. So, to no further ado, uh, this is what's got delivered. Now you may see some of the packaging there. Uh, you may recognise it, but so I ordered this at the beginning of October and it got delivered right at the end of November. Uh, so two months wait. Um, the good thing about where I ordered it from, so I ordered it from Novrich. I ordered a few bits and pieces from Novrich here. Uh, the reason why I went with them is because I could get all the stuff in one uh, in one house. Some of it was a lot cheaper than other places, and some of the reviews on the little bits of kit they ordered were very good. So that's why I decided to go all under one roof and try and get a get an average stuff. None of this is sponsored by anything to do with him. I'm not. <laughs> I'm nowhere near big enough anywhere to uh, to get any kind of freebies. So I paid for it all um, at my own pocket because it's a project I want to do. The downside is though, is when I received it, I wasn't very happy with the uh, the packaging, and I'm not very happy with the state it's come to me. So, for example, uh, there is a large hole there that I can get my hand in. There is another one on this corner here, if you can see that there, that I can also get my hand in. So it looks like there's some weight being pushed on the box and it's sort of split and pushed itself out. But uh, well, well, hopefully it's all okay inside, so we'll give that. Uh, I'm going to use my uh, Smith, and, Smith and Western Special Tactical. I'm not going to start using any kind of uh, weird stuff in here. I'm just going to use a knife. I'm not going to use potatoes or anything like that that you see on other, other places. Right, so uh, let's dump all this out. So, packing slip, I think that is. Yeah, that's some sort of Norwich uh, packing slip. So, the first thing that comes out is the site I've ordered. So, that's normally now. Uh, I ordered a LPVO site. Which I've only ever used once uh, while serving. I've seen, sorry, I've seen one once while serving and I used it uh, on someone else's gun. Um, it's a low power variable optic. Give us some uh, and the reason why I went with the LPVO as opposed to what I'm normally used to with either reflex or ACOGS or more quicker action scope comes with a cleaning cloth. Nice. So initially the quality looks really quite good. Comes with the mount. A lot of uh, a lot of decent uh, sites don't come with a mount anymore. Um, quite a few more expensive brands don't uh, just come with a site. You've got to go and buy a mount uh, afterwards after market. Which there are some quite nice styles out there and some nice imports. Um, essentially, with a LPVO, what you do is you um, you can use it in different uh, different ranges, so short range, long range, and you can just adjust magnification with a lever that's loose. Uh, yeah, but you just adjust that. So you can do short range stuff, flip, quickly flick it to long range. It was quite stiff, but it'll it'll free itself up. That's why I got the LPVO anyway. So that was on sale when I bought that at about 99. There's a random Allen key. Uh, packing paper, which everyone loves. Everyone loves packing paper. Uh, next thing I ordered in there was not part of the gun kit, but I ordered it anyway just because it came out at the time and it was cheap. Uh, get rid of that. Is a new helmet cover, and the reason why I got the new helmet cover is because I don't have a helmet cover on my helmet. I was umming and ahhing for many, many months about putting one on uh, or making some scrim ones, and I just thought this was really cheap, cheap enough, so uh, I ordered that. So I put a. I'll put a picture of that as well, or a video, a little quick description about this at the end, just to show you it on the helmet, um, and then why I went with that, okay? But the gun's what you want to see. Um, also, what I really want to see is, let me get rid of this. I really want to see the rest of the kit I ordered, but uh, 
There is an empty box, there is a flash hider that I ordered, an extra one for potentially that gun or a spare gun that is empty and there is nothing else in the box. It is empty. <laughs> so I'm hoping that I can squeeze the rest of the stuff I've ordered in here. But there is quite a lot of damage on the box and if you can see that there, right in the centre there's some damage in the box and if I feel uh, yeah, that's not great, not great. So at the minute, unless they've squeezed a LiPo battery in here, a 11 one ba uh, LiPo battery, uh, another flash hider, a kill flash for this, which is tiny anyway, so that might be in there, I never know. It's definitely not in here. Um, and what else they order? A suppressor, a small mo uh, a support um, active suppressor. So... Yeah, unless they've squeezed that in here, which I doubt. Let's have a look. Anyway, so what I've ordered uh, is the SSR4. I've ordered it in metal, which is why I pre-ordered. The reason why I ordered an SSR4 is because um, I generally like some of the, some of the, the feedback in the videos from uh, the people shipping them down, but also I like some of the feedback that I've seen from people using them uh, and testing them for a bit longer than, than some of the guns that have been out in the market that put a lot of rounds through them. I wanted electric just because uh, if anything goes wrong in my air system, um, I'm not, if I've got another air gun but the bottle, something wrong with the bottle regulator or the line, then I'm knackered. So I wanted a completely different setup that I could just quickly go to or change out mid game and stuff. Plus, it's nice to have something a little bit different uh, to play with. So, yeah, SSR4. So, start manual, uh, I'm not going to go into any details with that. This damage has gone through the foam. Yeah, we have some damage. So, what was that then? Uh, Allen key, everyone likes an Allen key for adjustments and such like. There is some damage here, I've just seen something fly out. Yeah, there we go. So, there's a piece of metal in there. So that looks like the charging handle, the spring loaded bit on the charging handle, there, I don't know if you can see that very well, there on the charging handle, you see that little bit of uh, silver there, that is actually the, hot, uh, the clip part of the, uh, part of the retention that stops the charging handle just moving. So that's snapped which is great. Uh, also in the box you get a uh, bodge rod or a pull through or clearance rod whatever you want to call it nowadays. You get a mag, which is nice. Looks like a decent mag as well. I have had a lot of problems. Just get rid of that. Nothing else in here, is there? It's not like squeezed it in the bottom or anything. No. So they are. I am missing quite a lot of kit from this order. Um, I have had. Not talking about mags. I have had a lot of issues with uh, the NTW factory mags. So that fa that magazine there that's on, you can see behind me. That factory magazine um, was wrong straight out of the box. MTW replaced it uh, with another magazine and recently that lasted about six games and that started to play up and have exactly the same feed issues that the other mag had. My 12 pound uh, neutral mid caps that you can see there just at the, at the edge of the shot um, are by far the most reliable best magazines I've had uh, that I could use. So, that, that other magazine, that other MGW one, will get used as a, another rifle stand. I'll just, just take the internals out, put a screw in the bottom of it, that'd be great. Anyway, back to this, back to what we're here for. Okay, so let me just put my light on and see whether that's any better. Oh yeah, much better. Right, so yeah, there's the SSR4. You've probably seen loads of other videos on it. Uh, you've got a, a flash hider at the front, which isn't uh, orange, which is always nice, which will get replaced with a metal one whenever I receive it. Um, metal front uh, front rail, which is really nice. M lock. I don't like. Um, I'm not not a huge fan of um, rails with sorry uh, rails like the 416 and stuff like that with already loads and loads of space on it. That just adds a bit of weight. If I want to put another rail system on top of this M lock system, then I'll use that, which is great. All metal body uh, polymer handguard, which has got nice nice grip effect on it. But I'll put a um, I'll put some tape around it anyway because I just prefer having a bit of tape there. Stock, I'm not a, a sort of stock bias kind of person. Um, I'll just use a stock however I use 
just a stock's a stock to me. I don't have to spend loads of money on, on different stocks. It does its job. There's no recoil in this, so I have to worry about it. A couple of uh, sort of ambidextrous sling points there, there. Not at the front, but the same on the other side. General quality feels good. There's a lot of rattling bits on it. Like this bottom part of the handguard here. Uh, bottom part of the trigger, sorry. The trigger guard rattles like mad. Don't know why that. So rattly. Never seen cats rattles. Uh, safety sounds nice. Nice. It's got a nice click to auto and a click to safe. Yeah, and a little, and a little click to semi. Not quite that bad. Um, hop up and things. Yeah, hop up looks like a generic cheap plastic hop up, but it's supposed to be a uh, slightly more upgraded one. But yeah, generally, weight-wise, feels nice. It's a lot longer than I've gone with before. The reason why I've gone with a longer gun is because um, my intention is to uh, turn it into a DMR or a DMR-esque uh, weapon. So it kind of, it'll kind of sit in the middle between, excuse me, um, a carbine and a DMR. So I don't know whether I'll go full flow with a DMR FPS or whether I'll keep it that I can, you know, that I can use it anywhere I want. But I've just that extra bit of length. Uh, and a bit of a sighting system, I don't know yet. So that's why I went with it, is so that I know that I can just buy another spring quite easily, whack a spring in uh, and see how it goes. But I don't know what it's firing at yet, so I don't know what spring they've actually put in it yet. Um, they may not have put the one I've asked for, because I know that there's a, a few little things going around that where people have ordered uh, you know, a spring for their SPS of where they play, and they've either got really, really way over that, or they've got under it, so I'll, uh, I'll see what that uh, see what that shows. But generally, the construction is quite nice. It's quite a nice, tidy weapon. Um, yeah, there is a lot of there's a lot of marks and sort of damage on it, especially this area here. So yeah, again that. Yeah, so that's why I've gone with that. So I am missing. Um, I want to think now. I'm missing two metal flash hiders, I'm missing the suppressor, and I'm missing the 11-1 battery. So I'm missing those four items out of my box. Um, on the slip, I think there's a... Yeah, so it says here, on this little, on the return slip actually, it's got products. Kill flash for one uh, 1x4 variable scope, which is not in the box. LiPo 11.1, which is not in the box. Variable scope, which is in the box. Flash hider V3, not in there. Another flash hider V3, not in there. Uh, and a pipe complete short, which is the suppressor. Helmet cover, which you've seen. And the, hopefully, fingers crossed, 1.1 dual black tip uh, gun, which is there, which is damaged. So yeah, that's, that's what is not complete in the box. But uh, let's just chuck this on here so we can have a quick look at what it might look like. Two seconds. So I'm quite disappointed that I've got a damaged gun. Hopefully there's uh, there's some sort of warranty system where I can. Uh, that's initially what I'm looking at, with a few other bits and pieces on it. But it's just a nice, nice weight. Yeah, that's good. Um, yeah, quite disappointed really. I'm glad I've got. I'm glad I've got a couple of things to be getting on with. But again, that looks nice quality. Uh, it's got Novrich on top of it, it's got a few little Novrich things, it's quite nice. I don't know if you can see that, it's a nice colour. I did look at the MTP one, but the MTP one looks quite bright actually, uh, and not quite subdued. Uh, whereas this, this is the, I don't remember which one I've ordered now, because I ordered it that long ago. Everglade, it's the Everglade uh, camo pattern, which is almost like a, I want to say a dirty MTP, but it's not, it's uh, it's quite nice. I quite like that Everglade um, combats actually. So uh, when, I'm, when my bulldog sets end up getting destroyed, I might end up trying to uh, trying to go with them and just see if they actually turn up for a start. But yeah, that'll put that. We'll put that on the helmet and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. So yeah, that's uh, that's the start of the build. You'll see that progressively in a few videos, and you'll see it progressively through uh, some gameplays and things. So yeah, all in all. Uh, impressed with, I got some of my order, but uh, not very impressed that uh, it's busted. There's the bit, there's the little bit. 
So I'll, uh, I'll be contacting them about that. Uh, and I'll let you know what they say, what they say regarding uh, repair or returns. I'm hoping that I can just repair, just take that off, but I'll have a look, I'll have a look. Anyway, thanks very much for, uh, for watching. Uh, please give me your tips uh, and tricks if you've got one of these. Um, with do's and don'ts, I love your comments, I'll answer all of your comments if I can and uh, hopefully you can join me on the journey with this and see where we can, see what we can do, where we can get the most out of it and go forward from there. So thanks very much, take care, bye bye.